Welcome to this week's edition of Outdoors Online, a weekly webcast produced by the North Dakota Game and Fish Department. I'm your host, Mike Anderson. My guest this week is Fisheries Development Supervisor Bob Fralick. Bob's in charge of all the fish cleaning stations and boat ramps facilities around the state. We're just getting ready if the snow and ice melts to get into another open water season, Bob. What do you guys have planned this spring? Yeah, well, you know, we're like every year, Mike, we're, we got a little bit of spring fever and uh, antsy to get back out there and get things going. Uh, we typically start our springs by uh, delivering a lot of courtesy docks and uh, fishing piers that the guys spent all winter constructing over here in the shop. And uh, as soon as the ice uh, melts and the snow disappears, those guys will be delivering those throughout the state. They usually install them and adjust them for the first time and then turn it over to the local entity. Um, the other thing that we're really, you know, kind of catches us in the spring is we've got a lot of buckled plank ramps and, and slide in metal ramps that they have to get because we get anglers that'll drive 60 or 100 miles to a lake to find out that the ramp is buckled. And so they'll work on that. And then we also try um, this spring, we've, we're trying to beat the rising water levels on, on a couple reservoirs that are drawn down right now for uh, flood protection, uh, spring runoff, and get in there right away in the spring and uh, maybe even break up some ice and start uh, ramp construction to get those ramps built before the water levels actually come up. Okay, uh, last year you guys did eight new ramps around the state. This year, how many are you doing and, and where? Yeah, we're looking at about three or four new ramps right now. Like you said, last year we did eight, which was a record for us. We built seven of those eight, the department did. And uh, this year, you know, we're working at over on Ashtabula. We're gonna, that's the one on the reservoir over there. Um, we're also looking down here at Hart Butte, possibly, and uh, probably the most notable one would be up on Antelope Lake, um, up in Pierce County. That's a really popular lake. It's been that way for a long time. Uh, we were having trouble securing an easement up there, but we finally did get an easement, and uh, we've got plans to go in there, you know, late spring, early summer, and, and start that, the construction of that one. Okay. Uh, when you say you guys built the ramps, is that the pour and push? Correct. Yep. That's the ones where we go in and, and actually most of those last year were um, existing ramps that were maybe uh, plank ramps or slide in metals that we had uh, maybe put in 30, 40 years ago had outlived their life. Uh, the cables had broke and the ramps, you know, were deteriorated to the point. And so we pull that stuff out and then do the pour and push method where you pour the first slab up on shore, push it out in the water and then pour the second slab up on top. Okay. How many facilities and boat ramps and lakes around the state do we have? We've, right now we're, we're right around 450 lakes, fishing waters around. Not all of those have boat ramps. Um, some are winter fisheries for pike and perch. Um, we're, we're over 2,000 facilities throughout the state. That would include, you know, boat ramps, toilets, fishing piers, uh, fish cleaning stations, and all that kind of stuff. And so all that stuff, you know, requires a ton of maintenance. And so uh, the guys spend a lot of time throughout the summer and into the fall, you know, running around the state, uh, fixing that kind of stuff, replacing it, making upgrades. Any plans for any new fish cleaning stations? We don't right now. We've got about 60 fish cleaning stations around the state and uh, we really critique those because they are really expensive to build and they're even more expensive to maintain just because of their nature. Um, but we, what we are doing with the fish cleaning stations is um, a lot of those have also outlived their life. And what we're doing is we're going in and taking out the guts of it, the, the table, the grinders, and we're replacing it with a new upgraded system. It's got a bigger table, a bigger grinder, a, a heavier duty or a phase converter on it and stuff. So uh, we're, that's kind of what we're doing. We do about three or four of those every year strategically and trying to get them all replaced over the next five to 10 years. Sure. Let's move on to some of the district lakes around the state here, Bob. How are the ramps going to be this year? Well, unlike the Missouri River system, which is going to be in good shape, uh, water levels on, on the big waters, uh, Sakakawea and Oahe and Devil's Lake are going to be good. But the smaller systems are, um, you know, because of the dry weather that we had last year, they are low. I mean, they're anywhere from a foot to five feet low, which is impacting a lot of our boat ramps around there. So in cases where we can relocate them or extend the bottom ends, we're doing that. Um, in other cases, some of those lakes are going to get to the point where, you know, the fisheries might even be in jeopardy. Okay. Uh, let's talk about, like you just mentioned, Lake Sakakawea, Devil's Lake. Things looking good? Yeah, they are. Um, even though we've been dry here in the Dakotas, like last, you know, last summer going into the, to the winter, 
Um, snowpack above uh, Garrison and Fort Peck is, is above normal. You know, it's tracking on like 2011 water levels. So um, we're going to get a lot of runoff. Uh, Sakakawea, Oahe are going to be, you know, like they were last year or higher. Uh, releases out of the Garrison Dam are going to be high going by Bismarck here this summer. So all the river ramps will be fine. Um, Devil's Lake has got 11 functional ramps compared to the eight that it had, you know, five, ten years ago. So we're, we're in pretty good shape on the big systems and the reservoirs. It's probably the smaller lakes that are kind of hurting now. This snow that we got should help things, but they are, they are down for sure. A lot of good information, Bob. Thank you. Yep, thank you. Fishing licenses for the 2018-19 season can be purchased online at the Game of Fish Department's website at GF nd.gov or at licensing vendors that are linked to the department's online licensing system. Licenses may also be purchased by calling the department's instant licensing telephone number at 800-406-6409. Anglers are reminded that new fishing licenses are required April 1st. For Fisheries Development Supervisor Bob Frelick and the rest of the staff here at the Game and Fish Department, thanks for joining us for this week's Outdoors Online. We'll see you again next week.